Hey guys, welcome to Hooked Up Wisconsin. Caleb Wistead here. Today we're going to learn how to fillet a largemouth bass. Now largemouth bass aren't always thought of as a food fish, but they are absolutely delicious. In my opinion, cold water caught largemouth bass are just as good as a bluegill, a perch, a walleye, any white meat freshwater fish. So they're great to eat, especially in the smaller size range from like 10 to 15 inches. Up here where I live, we can keep them that size, no size limit. So there's an overpopulation of largemouth bass. We have no issue harvesting them. So where you can do that, this is a great, great table fish. We're gonna do this two different ways. We're gonna use the Bubba electric fillet knife and then the Bubba seven inch tapered flex. Those are the two knives we're gonna be using today. I'll leave a link in the description for those two knives so you guys can find them easily. Now let's get started. All right guys, we're gonna start with the conventional knife on this a little bit bigger fish here. Uh, the reason I like to use the conventional for bigger fish is you don't have to cut through the ribs like you do with an electric typically. Now as with most fish, we're just gonna make a, a cut right behind the head right here. Just like that. We don't wanna cut down into the guts. You don't wanna rip right through those guts just like on any other fish. There's no need to cut through them. So we're gonna stop short and we're gonna hit the backbone right there. And we're gonna turn our blade along the backbone, just following the inside of those fins right there. And you can get pretty close to them, get all that meat off the back. And then right where these two fins kind of meet the body, you can kind of go right through at an angle like that. And then you're just gonna follow the backbone and kind of hop over those backbone vertebrae all the way down to the tail. Then we're gonna Insert our knife back here until we feel the rib cage. You can hear it tick in there. And then we're gonna follow it up. And right here at the top of the ribs, you're gonna feel pin bones. You're gonna cut right through those pin bones and then turn your knife back down towards the bottom of the fish so you get that meat off the ribs. And then we're just gonna cut the belly meat right there. So now we got a nice slab of meat with the skin still on it. This is super clean. Got all the meat off of that. And now we're gonna skin this and then take the pin bones out. So as with any fish, when you skin it, you wanna bring it out to the edge of the table so your knife can, can kinda, of, your handle can be below the edge of the table here. And we're just gonna, I'm just gonna pinch the skin down with my finger here and start my knife and then turn it as soon as I touch the skin. Then I'm just gonna follow that skin right down, kinda of re-grabbing the skin as I move forward. Just like that. Now we have a nice slab of meat here, but we still have the pin bones and they, they come off the top of the ribs out towards the skin. So they're gonna be facing up like this. And you can kind of feel them if you drag your finger along there. But we wanna just find the dorsal side of them here and just cut down that side. And they end right about here, right at the back of the ribs. Then we're just gonna cut out the other side right here just like that, and that's your pin bones right there. That's all there is. So now we have a nice single fillet, completely boneless and uh, nice and clean. All right, I'm gonna do the other side here much quicker so you can see how it's done quickly and then we'll hop into how to use the electric. So again, make that angle cut, turn your knife right along those fins, then you can push through, back, Touch the ribs till you hear it click, up and over through the pin bones, and then cut the belly off, just like that. Pinch it down here, follow the skin, like so. Cut those pin bones out, one side, then the other. Done. That simple. All right, now let's move on to the electric. As with all my fish, between fish, I'm gonna squeegee off my table, get that slime and guts off there, keeps it nice and clean. Okay, now with these smaller bass, I love to use the electric. This Bubba Electric is absolutely amazing. It's so quick. You don't have to worry about the ribs, you just cut right through them. So we're gonna do that right now. Uh, same cut for your initial cut right behind the head here. You just squeeze the trigger and cuts right through. But instead of turning our knife now and keeping it above the ribs, we're just gonna turn it and go right through the ribs.
right through. Okay, now that takes off a nice slab of meat here, but we still have the rib bones in the filet. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna find those rib bones and just start that filet knife right behind them. And just cut them right out, just like that. See, piece of cake. And then um, we can go ahead and skin the fish. So same way, we're just gonna pinch down on the tail, start the knife, straight across. Just like that. Now we do still have some pin bones here, so we're just gonna cut those out the same way we did with the conventional. And there's another filet, done. Let's do the other side. Cut the ribs out. Done. Beautiful. Well, there you have it, guys. Two fish filleted with two different knives really quickly, really easily. Hopefully that helps you get on your way to your next fish fry. Again, I'll leave a link in the description for these two awesome knives. Now watch one of these two videos because I have some great recipes that you can use to cook this fish. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Get hooked up.